just couldn't remember things. He was really freaking me out. I got diagnosed with a, um, a blood infection that got to my aorta. When we got to the hospital, what we discovered was he had had a series of mini strokes. And it was shooting emboli through my system and going to my brain. Thankfully, his doctor recommended us to Dr. Berman. We are boosting the basic, the, the fundamental elements of the immune system. We created the Neradiant 1070 as a step in the direction of creating an integrated photobiomodulation, neuromodulation therapy device. The Neradiant is just a white bicycle looking type helmet. You just put on your head and you plug it in and you just press the button go for the three to nine minutes. If you use 1070 nanometer infrared light on your head twice a day for you know two months, you will see a noticeable improvement overall in cognitive functioning. Dr. Marvin Berman founded the Quiet Mind Foundation 22 years ago to develop leading-edge neuroscience research. Quiet Mind utilizes innovative non-drug and non-invasive therapies to help patients who are suffering learning, memory, and movement problems. Train your brain, change your life. For now, we're really focused on light therapy and biofeedback to jumpstart and then renormalize the pattern of activity and allow the brain to do the healing work that it really can do better on its own than any other way. During the course of his research in clinical practice, Dr. Berman discovered the healing properties of infrared light. I've been using the technology since about 2008 when we first started doing the original trials and I saw how effective it was. NASA pioneered this research 40 years ago. That's when the National Aeronautics and Space Administration began exploring ways to help heal astronauts who might fall ill or sustain serious injuries on the space station or during space travel. NASA, in fact, was responsible for a lot of this research back in the 80s because they were looking for ways to help wound healing happen on the space station, and they showed that 800 nan nanometer light, the wavelength, was effective in helping to boost the rate of healing of wounds. If we think about it in terms of near-infrared light, 85% of the reason there's life on Earth is because of near-infrared light. We could direct it very easily, very reliably, and very safely into the body, and in our case, particularly into the, into the skull, and to use it as a way to both help heal, but also to help protect against further types of injury. We could influence brain function at a tissue level by increasing blood flow, decreasing inflammation, uh, boosting the capacity for the brain to really uh, make the kind of changes that we wanted to see. I met uh, Dr. Berman after I had a trauma and an event, a uh, medical crisis that I went through. This year, Jesse and I are celebrating our 30th wedding anniversary. Originally, he had flu-like symptoms and we honestly thought it was COVID. Everyone thought it was COVID. He just kept deteriorating. I got diagnosed with a, um, a blood infection that got to my aorta and had a growth on my aorta, the aortic valve, and it was shooting emboli through my system and going to my brain. He didn't remember that he had been to his doctor that day. He was really freaking me out. So I called his primary doctor and she said, you need to take him to the hospital right away and let them start a stroke protocol. When we got to the hospital, what we discovered was he had had a series of mini strokes. I think I scared my family a lot more than it was scaring me because I didn't really have the consciousness to understand what was going on. And we thought once he had the heart surgery that that would put him on the road to um, recovery. What we soon discovered afterwards that it really the heart was the easy part, it was the brain. And the fact that he had these multiple mini strokes, that was the long-term issue. We noticed that he wasn't himself. He didn't, not just the low energy, but he had a very flat affect. Um, he, his sense of humor was gone. Um, he was short-tempered, he got irritable. He needed to take naps and 
Um, he had trouble focusing and he was having headaches. Jesse started using the Neuradiant 1070. This device uses infrared light to reestablish levels of connectivity in the brain. You just put on your head and you plug it in and there's a little screen and it has both the time and the, uh, the hertz, uh, the frequency that it, it runs on and you just press the button go and you sit there and you can watch TV, read a book, meditate, chant, whatever you want to do for the three to nine minutes. And what we now have is the ability to deliver near infrared light at that 1070 nanometer wavelength. And uh, right after my surgery, when I got home, I was doing it for three minutes a day. Uh, two times a day. We are boosting the basic, the, the fundamental elements of the immune system. His sense of humor is back, his energy is back, um, his focus is back. Um, yeah, we're just very, very grateful to have him back in our lives because it was, it was a very, very stressful time. And he's, we couldn't be more pleased with the results because it could have gone could have gone a different way. I think a lot of the benefits that I've seen uh, from using it have been the ability to concentrate for longer periods of time, for being able to stay focused in my work where I used to lose focus and get headaches. I'm not getting headaches anymore. I'm able to focus for the full day rather than needing to take a nap in the middle of the day. Dr. Berman's foundation is poised to revolutionize the treatment of neurodegeneration and cognitive decline with the Neuradiant 1070. We started looking at alternative approaches while noticing that all of the research on identifying a single molecule solution in the Alzheimer's pharmacological space were failing. There were no good results. When we got to the point of looking at almost 500 studies that have all borne very little, if any, results, we're seeing that there really needs to be another way to think about this type of intervention. Working with world-leading universities like Durham University in England and Texas A&M's Baylor Research Institute here in the United States, Dr. Berman's foundation is changing how diseases like Alzheimer's will be treated in the future. So you had to have people with the disease do the thing to them and show that they then in fact got better. At that point, you can then take normal people, put it on their head, and then measure their intelligence and their motor skills and their processing speed. And that's what the people at Durham just did. So they now took normal people, did the exact same protocol that we did with Alzheimer's people. And they showed a 20% increase in memory, a significant increase in processing speed, and a significant increase in motor flexibility. So the studies that we did with our, ourselves and with Baylor Research Institute in Texas, we showed that if you use 1070 nanometer infrared light on your head, twice a day for you know two months, you will see a noticeable improvement overall in cognitive functioning. The University at Durham then took people who didn't have dementia, gave them the exact same protocol, and they measured motor speed, flexibility, they measured memory, and so they showed that people who are like us who do this treatment, they also improve. So the outcome of the study was that normal people who use this kind of treatment show a significant improvement in the same areas, in the same ways as the people with the disorder. So now it's legitimate, to my opinion, to start talking about this as a preventative, as a way to enhance your capability to resist you know, neuro neurodegeneration or cognitive decline. For more information about the Neuradiant 1070, please check out neuronic.online.